Hi! Today I thought I would tell you the story of this magnificent handcrafted world map. But first you can just take a better look at it. Okay, so it's made by me and as you can probably tell I'm very proud of it. I have always wanted to have a cool world map on my wall. I don't know where this obsession has come from, but Dad, you are probably the one to blame. And I have very precise definitions of what's cool and what's not cool. Like printed political world map, me, printed nightly world map, mm -hmm, kinda cool, hand drawn world map, really cool. Handcrafted awesome wooden world map. Okay, it's not that cool, let's just move on with this, okay? So the idea for this came when I saw one really well done plywood world map on Reddit. It was a little different kind of style, it was more like modern, sleek looking thing. But that gave me the idea to do a carved wooden world map. Because you know, carved wooden world maps are quite cool, right? I have to change the aperture all the time because the light is changing. So I began the project by going to a hardware store to look for ready-made wood blades. Because even if it would have been really cool to make even the wood blades yourself, I don't happen to have a fully equipped wood workshop here in my apartment. So I found a nice looking pine wood blade and I also got all the other equipment that I needed to make this happen like stain, sandpaper, paintbrush, a knife sharpener. The basic idea was that if I stain the plate dark brown and then carve the lines out of it, the lines will then show the lighter pine wood underneath. And that makes the cool outline effect. The next thing to do was to decide which projection to use. Now the no, no. Now there's a ton of ways to present a world map on a flat surface, and it was really difficult to decide what to use. But finally I went to natural earth projection, simply because it's one of the most, well, natural looking ones. And I also modified it a little in Photoshop to make it less squished. Then I made a grid on top of the map so that I could properly transfer it to the wood plate. Then I stained the plate, drew the same grid on the plate and drew the map, square by square. And it was a really slow process, but not quite as slow as the next part. Carving. I carved the whole map out of that drawing with only a basic sheath knife. And let's just say it took some time. Three full days to be precise. And I know I could have used much better tools to make it faster, but for me a big part of the whole project was to do it entirely with that knife only. There's just something really elegant about that. I don't know. I wasted three days of my life carving that thing. But then the map was basically ready. All I had to do was wipe away that grid, drill some screws on the backside, put a wire there as a hanger, and then hang it on the wall. And that is how I made the world map. I hope it was an interesting story. And luckily I have some pictures of the work in progress, because from the beginning I knew I wanted to post this to Reddit also. And there it got over 800 upvotes. So people really liked it. Fun fact. Topographically speaking, North Korea and Finland are separated by one country. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment below. Bye.